Hello and thank you for tuning in to Millennium Movies. No nonsense, let's get right into today's topic. We have some very exciting new cast members joining IT Chapter 2. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the most notable, which is the character of Henry Bowers. Yes, the awful bully of Derry, Maine. Henry Bowers survived that push down the whale from Mike Hanlon in IT Chapter 1, where he, where his body ricocheted from wall to wall. And it looked like he died, but I guess I guess it was pretty ambiguous. We didn't know, you know, if he was dead or not. But with this casting, we have Teach Grant set to play the adult version of Henry Bowers. And I gotta say, this is very interesting because of another cast casting announcement that I'm about to mention in, in a few seconds. But the adult version of Henry Bowers is locked up in Juniper Hills, insane asylum, basically, and he, and, and he's in there because of the the murders of his friends. Victor Chris and Belch Huggins, and as well as all the other kids, they were pinned on him. Those murders were pinned on him in the novel and in the miniseries. But of course, in the film, he actually does kill his friends. Of course, not the other kids, but he does kill his friends. So I wonder if he's still going to be locked up in Juniper Hill, Juniper Hills, or if it's going to be some type of different, maybe a prison, I don't know, that he breaks out with the help of Pennywise, who decides, hey, let's work together. Let's go cause, the, let's go cause these adult losers club some, some trouble. So uh, very, very curious to see how that plays out in the uh, Chapter 2 version of this story. But moving on from that, another horrible human being, of course, fictional character, but that is Tom Rogan is going to be in this movie as well, and the, he's going to be played by Will Beinbrink. I'm not familiar with a lot of his work, but I can tell you about Tom Rogan, the character, and he's basically Beverly Marsh's uh, abusive lover in the, uh, in the novel and in the miniseries. And he's just a disgusting, putrid, horrible person. Like I said, he's an, he's, an, he's an abuser and he's a very dominating person. And and in the novel, there's a very there's a very scary scene with him where he where he he goes looking for Beverly after she's been called by Mike and decides to go to Derry. He looks for he looks for Beverly and he finds one of Beverly's friends. And he really and he threatens her. He's almost he's like a psychopath at this point, almost like Henry Bowers. But in they're both they're both different types of crazy. And and I don't know if we're gonna get that in the in this film, in it chapter two, because we have to focus on the losers, man. We can't focus on any friend of Beverly. And that, and as and as good of a scene as that would be for the character of Tom Rogan and for you know him to get his comeuppance later, I would actually be curious if if they did a little bit of bait and switch with Henry and Tom Rogan, and maybe Tom Rogan goes after the Losers Club and maybe hurts uh, Mike or one of the other losers, we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But Tom Rogan is going to be in this film, so I'm very much looking forward to what happens to him. Hopefully him and Henry Bowers both die a gruesome death at the hands of Pennywise or the Losers Club. I'll be there in the theater hoping for it the entire time. But moving on from those two... We have another character, which is Audra, the uh, the wife of adult Bill Denbro, and sh and she is going to be played by <clears throat> excuse me by Jess Weixler. Now I'm not familiar with her work. I know she was in that movie Teeth, which was like I guess like a kind of a bit of a cult hit uh, among the horror community. I myself am not that big of a fan of it, but um, yeah, she's going to be playing the adult. Uh, she's going to be the Excuse me. She's going to be playing the wife of Bill Denbro. And in the novel and in the miniseries, we know that she goes after she, she goes after him because she's very concerned about her husband. And then she ends up getting uh, captured by Pennywise and and put into his secret lair in the tunnels. And then, you know, that further incentivizes Bill to go after Pennywise, to save his wife and to get rid of Pennywise once and for all, to kill it, to kill it finally. Now, I want to say, I think that storyline can be a bit redundant if you think about It Chapter 1, where basically that storyline was given to Beverly, where she gets captured by Pennywise, and that that makes the losers reunite to go after her and save her. I don't want to see that again. We've already seen it. So I, I, I expect that they'll use her character a little bit differently than she was in, used in the novel and in the miniseries. But, you know, or maybe they'll just have to get a, a different way around to her capturing and, and such such and so forth. So we'll just have to wait and see how Andy Muschietti decides to handle that storyline. Uh, last but certainly not least, 
perhaps the most interesting cast announcement is Xavier Dolan, who's an actor and director. I'm not familiar with his work, uh, to be on, totally honest with you, but he's playing the character of Adrian Mellon. And if you read anything about, if you know anything about the novel, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you that this is major spoilers for a scene that's possibly going to be in this in, the, in it chapter two. If you don't want to know about it, go ahead and click out now. But if you do want to know about it, I'm going to tell you right now. Adrian Mellon is a gay man who lives in Derry, and him and his partner, Don, are walking over this bridge, and they get attacked by a couple of homophobic, homophobic bullies, and they throw him over the bridge. And while he gets thrown over the bridge, Pennywise is under there waiting for him and takes a huge chunk out of his armpit and, and, kills, the, and kills the poor young man. It's, it's very disturbing to read in the novel. And I, I just have to think that with the way Georgie's death was handled in the first chapter, in chapter one, we see his arm get bitten off. We see him crawling away for dear life with one arm, with blood gushing out of, out of, his, out of his arm socket. I have to believe that we're going to see a very gruesome death for Adrian Mellon in the very beginning of this – of It Chapter 2, and Mike Hanlon's probably going to hear about it and look into it, and then that's going to that's gonna incentivize him to call back the losers and get them all back to Derry. So yeah, I got to say I really want to see how Andy handles that scene because like I said, it's, it's, very, it's very gruesome. It's very uh, haunting just to read it. So of course I really want to see it on the, on the big screen. But yeah, guys, this has been some further casting uh, updates for some supporting characters in It Chapter 2. Are you excited for It Chapter 2? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you want to stay up to date on more It Chapter 2 news and all things horror movies really, or movies of any kind, then go ahead and consider subscribing to Millennium Movies because I can talk about movies and TV shows all day long. Just look at my channel and you'll see, yes, I'm telling the truth, I can talk about them all day long. Um, tomorrow, I should be having a uh, video out on the Child's Play TV series that has just been announced. So if you're a big fan of Chucky and Child's Play, you might want to tune in tomorrow and find that video on my channel. Anyways, guys, this has been Millennium Movies, and I will see you guys next time.